This all new cabinet lock from Eskazor promises to make you go keyless on your cabinet and wardrobes. Let's find out if it works. So here it is. This is the smart lock for your furniture, basically for your wardrobes and your cabinets. And it's an electronic lock as you can see. Uh, let's just see how the box looks. Pretty simple. I think there are plenty of models for different type of furniture that you have. And it's also got a fingerprint uh, option on it. So that's what's going to make it really easy to use when you have a wardrobe which you want to quickly open. So let's uh, see what's inside the box. Well, so okay, this is not the actual price. I'll leave links in the description. So as soon as you open the box, you do have a nice big thank you card, helpline number, and you can see different range of products. They have door locks and they have many other things over here, which could probably work based on the furniture you have. So inside you can see wiring module here. I think this is a fingerprint sensor basically. Yeah, it's a fingerprint sensor module. And I think this is the actual lock mechanism. Yeah, so it's also got a battery compartment. So you have some more mounting options here. They've given you all the necessary screws. Also inside is a small little USB key. So this is an e-key for you to kind of remove some of the fingerprints which you don't want or reset the device. So that's also in the box. Talking about batteries, this can actually run up to 5,000 unlocks with a set of three alkaline batteries. So very good battery life, hoping it works. But yeah, they claim 5,000 unlocks. There's also a user manual inside, just a small little piece of paper, which is folded up. And it kind of tells you how good this device is. It, it's got... Uh, the capability to hold up to 10 fingerprints and it's also got light indicators there are three different colors which work uh, differently like when you're unlocking the device the fingerprint sensor has a light which glows green and then you know we have a blue blue color light to tell you that the fingerprints are being fed and then there's a red light to tell you about low batteries or incorrect fingerprints so pretty comprehensive device tries to do a lot without a lot of electronics here so what you get inside the box is essentially these items over here Fingerprint sensor has actually got a USB port, the USB-C port, yeah. So I've gone and make the connection. So here basically you have the USB-C port, which can also be used as a backup power supply source for this. So I'm using a small power bank to power this up. Don't have the batteries in this, so let's see if it works. So this is a bracket which goes, this goes to your uh, front part of your wardrobe or your panel. Then there's a wooden block here. Then you have this small little plate which secures this to that particular wooden plank and then this comes behind that right and all you need to do is just put your fingerprint here and you, this should actually work if everything is okay so you can keep your eyes on this particular device here that's the locking mechanism okay i'm just going to power this up again yeah so there is a light indicator as well on the fingerprint sensor and you can see that it works I haven't fed any fingerprints, but I think by default it just works on whatever you feed it, right? There is a process to add the fingerprint. So that itself is something which you can read over here. It tells you how to actually register a fingerprint. So once you do that, then this is going to be working fine. I'm doing this fitting myself. So I removed the old lock which I had on this old shoe cabinet of mine just to see if this will work. Sometimes these fingerprint locks, you know, can give trouble. So. Anyway, give it a try. I removed the lock. There's sufficient space for you to push in this fingerprint sensor. This little bracket here goes in over here at the back and then you have two little screws which you can fasten it. And that way this is really secure and your fingerprint sensor is on that front part of the door panel. At the back, you can add three batteries and you have the locking mechanism there. You also have to fix the locking groove on the other side of the cabinet so that you can secure this lock. And that's fixed right over here. And if you can see, uh, I've used uh, hot glue instead of uh, using screws in the beginning just to have the right measure. So this is a good tip for you guys if you want to, you know, install this on your own. Try using hot glue to temporarily have this fixed. And now, right now, I'm actually feeding fingerprints. So all you need to do is just press and hold any of your finger on this particular lock for about three times, wherein the green light glows. And then once you take your finger off, it has this blue light glow, which is glowing right now. That means it's ready to accept fingerprints. So you can store up to 10 fingerprints on this one. And by the way, the USB port on this particular device is given so that you can actually add that uh, particular USB key 
and then press any of your fingerprints on it so that it wipes off all the other fingerprints which you have so like a fail safe mechanism and of course you already know by now you can use the usb port as a backup option in case the batteries run out so plug in any usb c cable to this with the power bank and you have this working in no time so very simple to use this lock is pretty secure and it's really convenient when you're actually you know trying to run away quickly you want to grab that particular shoe or anything else from your cabinet which you're storing uh, adding fingerprints really works and the wrong fingerprint will actually throw in a red light so that kind of gives you an indication of whether it's actually working or not so really convenient i think this is a good lock and uh, really worth the money uh, i'll leave links in the description if you are interested you can actually pick this up from amazon or you know directly from their website at the back you can actually see that once you add the covers it has this screw cap as well you can add all of this and works great and it works uh, very nicely any time of the day or in the night and i think this is uh, a really convenient way of uh, adding a lock to any cabinet even if a cabinet doesn't come with a lock like this one i added that manual lock in the beginning and now it's automatic so thank you so much for watching i hope you like this video uh, do hit the like button subscribe and stay tuned for more Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.